Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about the true and pro navigation between activities as well as the finishing concept of an activity. So let's start. So if I show you this project, I have created two activities inside this. And one is this uh, uh, main activity and the other one is this second activity. Now. In this main activity if I show you the design um, if I go to design I have created this uh, these two edit text and this uh, button but for now we will use only this button now if I go to this main activity dot kt file I have connected that button here and we have created the click event here now here I will use intent to navigate to the second activity so intent equals now I'll use intent with capital I and then it takes in uh, context here so I can give it an application context or I can use the main activity dot this or only this so I'll use application context then it takes the second activity so I'll use second activity and then it takes tuple columns and then class dot java so now after this I can start the second activity so if I start the second activity I'll pass in the intent here and now if I run this quickly run this application so now the application is launch on the emulator now if I click on this transfer data button now you will see that we come to the second activity but now if I click uh, on this back button now we are in the past activity again so activities in Android works like a uh, steak when an activity is uh, started so it come to the top of the steak and the previous activity goes down now when we go back and we remove the, this uh, second activity from the top of the stake so the first uh, activity come to the top and it become visible now this come to the top the second activity but if I, I go back so this is removed and the first activity this transfer data activity come to the top now there is another concept if I finish this activity here so if I write here finish and now if I run it again quickly so now the application is running again so if I come here and now if I click on this transfer data now I come to the second activity but if I click on this uh, back button now you can see the application closes because we have finished this past activity so this is no more available so how can I uh, navigate back to this uh, first activity so for that we have to start this first activity so for that I will come to the second activity and go to its design and now I'll uh, add in a button quickly here so I'll drag this button and uh, I'll pin it from the top and I'll pin it from this side as well as this side now I'll go to code and change the text on uh, this button so I'll go down and here I'll change the text to go to first activity and now if I go to design and I will place it here and now I'll go to second activity dot kt file and here I will use wall um, first equals uh, find view by ID and here I will use button and now I'll use r dot id dot button and here I'll use first dot set on click list now 
and here we will use on click list now and now we will do the same thing as we have done here in this first activity I'll use wall intent equals intent and here I'll now use uh, second activity or application context comma and now I'll use uh, activity man or man activity and now full colon and java class dot java and now I'll start the intent I'll start the activity intent and now if I run this I forgot one thing here I have to finish this when I go back so now the application is running so if I click on this now we are in the second activity now if I click on this we are back into the first activity so in this way we can navigate and we can finish the activities so when an activity is uh, finished is it is completely removed from the stack now if I click on this back button the application will close down so I think that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you